Hi everyone, welcome to the next course, Speaking Chinese Mini Course 6. You can hear my voice is much better because my cold is just disappeared. Because I was sick, the last course is 10 minutes shorter. What do you think? 20 minutes is better or you prefer 30 minutes? Leave your comments below. If this is the first time here and you want to learn speaking Chinese slowly, improve pronunciation or being more confident, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Because all the courses are linked together, I suggest you to watch from course 1 if you haven't. Just click the box on the top right now. It's very important that you interact with the course whenever I ask a question. Make sure speaking out your answer by pausing or try as fast as you can in the pause I give you. With all that said, let's get started. Today we will continue learning numbers. Let's review how to say 1, 2, 3 in Chinese. 一, 二, 三, 一, 二, 三. Now try to say two cups of Liang Bei Liang Bei In the mini course five we learned that when you say two with measure word you have to use Liang. This is how Chinese people say. Do you remember how to say to buy? Mai my. Now try this. I want to buy two cups of coffee. Wo yao mai liang bei ka fei. Wo yao mai liang bei ka fei. In the mini course two, we learned need. Do you remember how to say in Chinese? Xu yao. Xu yao. The word a bottle of in Chinese is yi ping. Yi ping. Remember the pronunciation rule of one. If the next symbol is the fourth tone, you need to use yi, the second tone. If other tones, you have to use yi. In this case, we say yi ping. In the mini course one, we learned how to say to drink. In Chinese, actually, we say drink water. So how to say water, do you remember? Shui, shui. Now try this. He needs a bottle of water. Ta Xu Yao Yi Ping Shui Ta Xu Yao Yi Ping Shui The word half in Chinese is You You and don't have in Chinese is 没有, 没有. Here, don't have the don't is not 不. In the previous courses, we learned not is 不. For half, we don't use 不, we use 没. Now try this. I don't have water. Do you have water? Ni yo ma? Ni yo ma? Do you remember the rule of double third tone? We get three third tones. 
So here we have to change 你 and 有 both of them to the second tone. So we say like this: 你有水吗 They don't have water. They don't have water. They don't have water. Here, because 有 and 水 are both third tone, so we change 有 to 有 They don't have water. The word book in Chinese is 书书 the first tone. It's very high and flat. Now try to say, "I have three books." For this, in Chinese, we need to pay attention to the measure words. The measure word is the word between number and none. There is no logic between measure word and the none. Always, they are fixed combination. So you have to remember one by one. So in this course, we will introduce two measure words for books or something similar like notebook, textbook. We use the measure word, 本本 So try to say, I have three books. Here, remember to use measure word 本 between 三 and 书 The word people in Chinese is 人人 This is the second tone. It's like asking a question. 人 When you say number plus people, you need to use measure word 个个 It's a common measure word. In my childhood, when I couldn't remember the measure word, I usually use 个 plus anything. People will laugh at me, but they could understand. So if you don't know the measure word for something, you just be a child and use 个 As measure word. Now try to say we have three people. We have three people. The benefit of Chinese is that when you know how to say numbers. You could say a lot of things that related to numbers. For example, the word first in Chinese is 第一第一 So you just simply use 第 plus number to become ordinal number. And the word January in Chinese is 一月一月 So you could use number of months plus 月 to become a month. Here, the pronunciation of 一 is an exception. Usually, you have to change the tone of 一 but here you don't. Let's practice more. How to say second in Chinese? 第二第二 and third, 第三第三 Do you remember how to say mine? 我的我的 Now try this. The first book is mine.
第一本书是我的。第一本书是我的。Here we have the ordinal number 第一 and the measure word 本 and here we use 是 as the verb is. 第一本书是我的。You could also say 第一本是我的 because you use measure word 本 so everyone will know that you are talking about the book. And the number four, five, six in Chinese is 四五六四五六 because 五 is the third tone. So it's very low. Do you remember how to say ten? 十十 and forty. 四十四十 is four multiplying ten. And forty one. 四十一，四十一 ，and forty four。四十四，四十四 ，April。四月，四月。May. 五月，五月。June. 六月，六月。Do you remember the question word for asking number? So here, which month in Chinese is? 几月？几月 ？Let's continue talking about the future tense. In this course, we are going to see will do. So the word will in Chinese is 会会 So I will go in Chinese will be. 我会去的。我会去的。The here is a sentence final particle, which indicates that the speaker is certain about what he is saying. In this case, I will go for sure. If you say without the, it sounds like I will go, but I didn't say when. So it sounds. Not sure. Do you remember how to say like? 喜欢，喜欢。Now try this. He will like it. 他会喜欢的。他会喜欢的。When you talk about the third person, you have confidence of what you are going to say. So here we also use the in the end. Do you remember how to say come? 来，来。Now try this. Will you come to the party? 你会来 party 吗？你会来 party 吗 ？Here we don't use the because we are not sure if you will come or not. Yes, I will. 
，我会的，我会的。Or you could say， 会去，会去。And remember the key point of answering is to emphasize the verb. So you could remove I and emphasize the verb will and go. The word to learn in Chinese is 学习学习 Pay attention to the pronunciation of X. You need to use a breeze. 学习 The word Chinese is. 中文，中文。Now try to say, "We will learn Chinese." 我们会学中文的。我们会学中文的。When we learn to drink in the first mini course, I mentioned that to use verb only, you need to add an object. Or to use two symbols, but if you use the verb to connect to a noun, you could remove one symbol, usually the last one. So here we say 学 without 习 Do you remember how to say a clock? 点点 How about six o'clock? 六点，六点。How about six forty? 六点四十，六点四十。How about five twenty three? 五点二十三，五点二十三。And how to say time in Chinese? 时间，时间。Now try to say I don't have time. 我没有时间。我没有时间。I have some time. 我有点时间。我有点时间。Here, 点 means a little or some. Do you have time now? 你现在有时间吗？你现在有时间吗 ？Remember the condition rule. You need to move now to the front after the subject. And ma means a yes no question. The number seven eight nine in Chinese is 七八九七八九 Now try to say July in Chinese. 七月，七月。The word sleep in Chinese is 睡觉，睡觉。Now try this. I can't sleep now. 我现在不能睡觉。我现在不能睡觉。The word "get up" in Chinese is 起床，起床。And do you know how to say tomorrow? 明天，明天。
and every day in Chinese it's 每天每天 Now try to say I get up at eight forty every day. The word half in Chinese is 半半 So half past nine in Chinese is 九点半九点半 is like nine o'clock and half. Now try to say I sleep at nine thirty every day. 我每天九点半睡觉。我每天九点半睡觉。Okay, before we finish out this course, let's have a quick review of the vocabulary. Water, 水 half, 有 don't have, 没有 book, 书本 People, 人个 first, 第一 four, five, and six, 四五六月 January. 一月 will 会 to learn 学习 Chinese 中文 time 时间 seven eight and nine 七八九 sleep. 睡觉 every day. 每天 half. 半 All right. A very big congratulations for completing this course. Hopefully, it's giving you enthusiasm and encouragement to continue learning Chinese. Give this video a thumbs up and share it if it helped you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on the social media. If you have any difficulty, any questions, or anything that you would like to know, please feel free to leave comments. Have a nice day. See you next week.